Hello everyone, thank you for joining me for another episode of my EU4 Milan campaign. New developments in this war. Dun dun dun. Damascus took a, pi a piece of territory. Through war dynamism. So, I'm gonna get right back into this, conquer this territory. Hopefully, Damascus will take it. You know, something like this. They're actually offering me this piece of territory. Yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. 25 pops. 24 trade power. Silver. Silk. Largest regional city. Important center of trade. Important center of production. Trade modifier. I'll take it. Hey, if they want to offer me this, I'll take it. I might have to take these two provinces before they offer me that. I don't know if I'll do that. Wow, they're offering... They're offering me this piece of territory. <laughs> Um, I just, I just don't know. It's a lot of mana. 90 90 mana I could just take it in a different war so I think I'm I'm that's it like that's all I want I think that's a good haul I've spent enough monarch power I'm gonna deny it this is pretty much what I'm this is what I'm taking and then in the next war, I'll clean up the borders. Unless they offer me... Crete. I'll take these two provinces. Other than these two provinces, I'm done. And then in the next war, I'll clean up the borders and then grab maybe some islands over here and then make my way over here. But that... Probably not going to be the war dynamism. I'll just do a crusade or spread the true faith. No, the provinces will cost 75% and I'll be able to take a bunch that way. Right now, I'm going to stay in the war though for Damascus and potentially Hungary. I don't think they're going to take any territory, but I didn't think Damascus was going to take any either, but they did, so maybe they will. Plus, also, there's Mongol separatists up here, so I'm hoping that they can enforce their demands and this territory goes back to the Mongol horde. I think it might be better for them to actually take this territory that way. The war timer can restart.
Let's take the uh, empty. Units off. I'm going to take Ethiopia. So you know what I'll take Kafo right now. Everybody has moved over. Looks like there's going to be more Sunni fanatics. See, I don't understand. They, um... They rose up in a province that's orthodox. Don't quite get that. Maybe it's because there's... There's an oppressed Sunni minority, but I don't think that's ever happened before. Either way, it's 10k, and I got some troops right here, so it's not much of a big deal. Clear war in Kafo. Ooh, I could take Kafo. I don't want it though. You know, if it was a different game. I would take it. But this is, I... I'm trying to keep myself within the limits of the Italian Empire and the Italian Empire's ambitions, which is this area. So, that's why I'm not taking just like any piece of territory. I'm trying to keep myself within these these constraints. So there was a couple pieces of territory that I took, these two that weren't part of the constraints, but then I sold this piece and I'm going to sell this piece as well. So I'm going to get back to the constraints and then also the Mamluks, but that was Egypt that was just because I wanted to get to the Horn of Africa. So I'm going to decline that. And also these vassals, but... I don't really include the vassals.
Right, that was the fanatics. Let's give that to Silesia. They are, um, not taking any of this territory. Hmm. I figure I might as well stay in it, since they're not making me call for peace. I can devastate the... Turkish Empire a little bit more. What the heck is this? In the 10th century, a series of holy mountain monasteries were established by the Byzantine Empire. The most successful was Mount Athos, established in Chalkidiki in 963. Beginning as a great Lavras, it quickly expanded as other monks, blah blah blah. Despite its importance, Mount Athos was a small community that didn't bother anyone. Conquerors often found it more expedient to let the monks continue to live their lives than to bother to disperse them. But I'm burning them. Alright, I'm gonna piss off every Orthodox country in the world. I don't know why. really gain much there. Let's take those guys off for attrition. What? Members of the Empire are donating to the Turkish Empire. Wow. 
Well then, I'll have their heads for that. No more. I can't take any more. some peasants down here. Oh wow, there's peasants everywhere. I really only care about these territories. Oh, and these, obviously. Diet of Hamburg. Prince is openly supporting heresy within the Empire, and it has become clear that the Edict of Strasbourg needed to be reinforced by Emperor Ludovico III. I can arrange for a temporary truce. Which actually gets me 300 ducats, 18,000 manpower, 30 imperial authority. Nah, the Empire shall have one faith under God. No truce. Let's take that province, 518 ducats, alright. Add the province, delete the fort. Also, I can seize land. From my vassal. Couple pieces of territory. Alright, they got this one. Nice. Okay. So it's just really slow. I actually like that they're taking this territory back because it'll make the um, war go faster. Or, it'll make the war go longer. Because even though I'm at 99%, I don't have anything. End the war. There's no calls for peace.
let's see, 16, 2200 ducats. That's not that much, but then I did restrict looting, and I haven't really looted many provinces myself, so... They finally took a province. Yay. Five pop province. They took it. I think they took this as well. So they're taking this territory, and then... We're just taking it back, which is causing more destruction and death. So, uh... Yeah. We can lean them even further. Let's transfer trade power. Okay, now there's a call for peace. At first it'll be one, so it's not that bad. They want to give this province to me again. No. Coffee and Issa. It's interesting, I suppose. Declare war on Ethiopia. They have no troops. Should be really quick. I'm gonna give this, um, uh, till I get two war exhaustion. Yeah, I don't have a war timer on Crete. Turkish population is now 2383. I thought that's what it was before, but I guess I was looking at the wrong thing. Okay, they took Cilicia took this province. I 
Are there any other provinces with blue timers over here? Alright, I don't think they're going to take anything else. Alright, it looks like you can... They can get to these provinces. Would have been nice if they took all of this, but... I'll wait for this to go. If they take it, great. So that's what, uh, June? So I'll wait till June 1569. After that, I will make peace. Goose is Protestant. Looks like they defeated the Mongol separatists. all of them. Revoke core. beautiful down here. I am not biased. Alright, I'll fight uh, Azuran and Morsengali next down there. That's actually the two remaining. I have no war exhaustion. It's actually decreasing still. I 
Fars keep sending him gifts. Let's see, that was June of 69. I think they took this one as well. It just takes them an awfully long time to take territory. Iconoclastic Fury. National Tax Modifier Missionary Strength. Whatever. Oh, they were going to give me this one. Why not give me this one? I think I'll hold off till after the war to declare war on Azuran. Schumann, Modan, yeah, I'm not sure they're going to take this. Well, this is just about a total... Oh, they did take it. They took it. It's not... I wouldn't... Okay, I wouldn't say it's a total... It's a technically a total defeat because I've fully occupied them, but it could have been worse for them as if Hungary took all of their territory back and Damascus took all of their territory back, but... I took more territory than I thought I would. So I'm going to grab... that province as well. This is my peace deal. I've pretty much taken just about everything here, except what one, two, three, four, five provinces.
All right. Give me that territory. All right. We treated their soldiers well, I guess. We lost 460, 456,000 apparently. I lost 105,000. France lost 92,000. Where's uh, Spain? Or Castile. Hungary lost 33,000. Really. There they are. Yeah. They lost 50,000. Alright. Turkish Empire no longer considers me a rival. They'll probably re-rival me again. I'm gonna break the alliance with Hungary. Or maybe not. I don't have to, I guess. I guess I'll keep it for now. I don't want them to get immediately attacked by the Ottomans. Let's look at a uh, province trauma. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a lot of province trauma. They got absolutely decimated. this embargo all right so with my money I'm going to build a bunch of stuff first though I'm going to expand the bureaucracy I'm gonna attract attract 
artisans. Um, now I'm going to construct a capital. Build a canal. I'm thinking I'll build another troop, maybe another 15k, place them over here, so I can use them to help over here for the meantime. Since I'm going to have to fight rebels and such for a while. I believe I'm going to integrate Naples as well. Let's see, it's going to take seven years. It's going to be a lot of bird mana. Hmm. But I got to do it, so I'll do it. They're still at zero percent. There's nowhere... okay. I think I'll keep my troops in Attica for a little bit right by uh, Alexandria. I have to build two transport ships. And then uh, in between parts I'll probably build some buildings so I won't have 5,500 gold at the start of the next part. And uh, which I'm going to finish this part now and pick it up in the next part. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.